Hey y'all, my name is Shiloh. Most of y'all know me as Patchwork Heart. I've been asked to contribute a testimonial on the Sappho op that Coyote Lovely was running. More specifically, my role in it. I retired from pedobusting a few years ago, but I still provide research, assets, and victim advocate services in the background. November of last year, Coyote asked me if I could help one of Sappho's victims, Reyna, with getting help and heading in the path of recovery. When Reyna came to me, she was unwell. Deeply so. Groomed into believing she was a zoophile by Sappho, intrusive thoughts and trauma symptoms plagued her daily life, and she had none of the language to explain her experiences. I talked with her for hours, helping her work through the common parlance for her symptoms, encouraging her to seek official diagnosis, offering her help in finding a therapist, and, in general, just encouraging her to seek help. When she expressed a feeling of abandonment, I invited her to my Discord server, where other abuse survivors could offer her support and camaraderie. We're still mutuals, and she's still a part of my community. But this whole situation has put her in dire straits. The danger that the situation has placed her in is insurmountable. And I'm deeply ashamed of this community for abandoning a victim and putting her in danger. It often feels like people forget the victims in favor of humiliating the abuser. I found out about the op after it had already been botched. Via Twitter, and via my friend Tricky the Fox, who DM'd me on Discord. I learned that it had been screwed. Hard. We aren't cops. We're activists. Pedobusters are supposed to be voices for victims, and we can't let ourselves get caught up in being vigilant. Coyote tried to matches Malone this shit. And he ended up getting screwed both by his own hubris and by kiwi farmers who couldn't keep quiet. It's a mess. When you're combating zoophiles and child abusers, good planning, credibility, and communication are a priority. You cannot help anyone without these things. Somewhere in the hypnotist Sappho case, the community lost track of it. And that was why this op failed. And now, many of the victims may have to start over in legal cases against their abuser. This was meant to help people, but it was screwed from the beginning. In the end, the victims are the most important party in any case against an abuser. I hope in the future we won't forget that again. Do better.